are the best thing that has ever happened to me. I'm so blessed to have you as my husband. And I'm blessed to have you as my wife too. I'm promising you that you will not regret your decision to marry me because I will treat you like the queen that you are. I love you so much. Maybe you should start treating me like a queen right now, not waiting till we get married. What do you mean by that? Haven't I always been treating you like a queen? You have, but not until recently. Recently? When? How? You don't want to give me the fairy tale wedding that a queen deserves. I know that you have the money in your account, but you don't want to spend it on me. Oh, here we go again. I have told you that I can't spend such amount on this wedding. If I do, I will go bankrupt. That money in my account is my saving from work all the years. I can't lavish everything on a day's wedding. If I had that kind of money, I would spend it but I don't have. You won't go bankrupt. You have a good job. You'll definitely recover everything. Please, I want to paint that wall and I also want that decoration. I'm sorry but I'm taking my stand. Then I don't think you love me. If you love me, you do this for me. You can say whatever you want. You know that I love you. And I'm not going to make stupid decisions that will jeopardize our future because you want to please the public and your friends. Kelly, come back here. Don't you dare walk out on me. You must pay that money whether you like it or not. It is not me you will disgrace. What will I do to convince this man now? She wants to drag me into the mud, but I will not accept it. He must give me that fairy tale wedding. You know. He must. He doesn't have a choice. Cynthia, if I tell you I'm not tired, I'll be making myself a liar. I'm so tired of the whole thing. I don't think Stanley will ever change. So what do you want to do? Do you want to leave? I'm thinking about it. Don't even think about it. Why? So you want to finally give up on your home for another woman to take over after all you have been through for him? So what do I do? Enjoy your life. That's what you can do. What? Yes. Your husband is a multi-billionaire. He has lots of money. Take yourself out. Go on vacations. Take care of yourself. Buy yourself nice things. And forget about Stanley. Life is too short to kill yourself over a man. Oh. Isn't that easy, dear? I know. But that's what you can do in this case. You are right. I will try and enjoy myself instead of killing myself with worry. I just pray he doesn't give me STD like he did the other time. That's true. Please be using protection so that it doesn't happen again. I will. So how are you doing? How's work? Work is fine, no. why Caleb is proving stubborn. I can't afford not to have this wedding as planned. If I go for cheaper things, Annabelle and Rachel will find out the truth. I not only will they laugh me to scorn, they will throw me out of their circle. No, I can't afford to be disgraced like that. I'll have to try to convince Caleb to spend that money. He has to. Hey. Hi. I remember you. Me? Where? I am the guy from the club last week. Remember? Oh, you were the guy who wanted to pay me a hundred thousand for a night stand. Yeah, I can see you remember me now. By the way, you look more beautiful than ever. Thank you. You don't look bad yourself. I was wondering if you could still consider my offer. It is still available, you know. I beg your pardon. For the hundredth time, I'm not a prostitute. Just because you saw me in the club with my friends doesn't mean I'm a cheap thing. You can just pick off the chef. Okay, I am sorry about that, but can I at least have your number? I really like you and would love to get to know you. Please. Now you're talking like a real gentleman. What do you mean? Of course, I am a real gentleman. <laughs> Not the man I saw at the club. He wasn't anything close to a gentleman. Well. I am a gentleman outside the club. Yeah, I have to go now. Thanks a lot. I will call you. I'll be expecting. Bye.
them. That girl is hot, man. I must have her, only that she's playing her to get. I guess I will have to play the lover boy role to get her in my bed, even though I hate playing that role. I love mature girls who will just take the money. Give me what I want and leave. Not this one that is looking for a boyfriend. Anyways, if she wants a boyfriend, then I will become one. All I know is that I am going to have her. I want us to talk. What is it about? I had a long day today and I really want to sleep. I know you have had a long day, so I'm going to make it brief. I am listening. I know you are still cheating on me. Oh, please don't start this again. I have told you several times that I am not cheating. I don't know why you keep doing this to me, but please, if you have decided to be a cheating husband, don't forget to always use protection. Please don't come and give me STD like you did when we nearly got married. Sylvia, stop it right there. Will you stop it already? What is the meaning of this nonsense? How many times do I have to tell you that I am not cheating on you? Why can't you trust me for once? I know I cheated in the past but I have changed for you. Why can't you believe me? I don't want to doubt you but you are the one giving me reasons to think otherwise. You come home late and always sneak around to receive phone calls. You have all this in your head. And as for coming home late, I will try my best to start returning home early. You know our work is very demanding these days. My company is bidding for a multi-billion contract. So I am very busy but I will try my best. Please just trust me. I've heard you. Please I want to sleep. Come on babe. I love you and will not hurt you intentionally. I've heard you. Please let me sleep.